If there is one genre of movies that can never fail, it is romantic movies. We're halfway through the year now, so how about taking a look at some of the best romantic movies of 2011? As much as someone, mostly girls, would like to say that they don't really like romantic movies, truth is, it is everyone's favorite way to kill time. We all know that some of the most romantic movies like When Harry Met Sally, If Only, Pretty Woman, and undoubtedly, Titanic, make for those movies that everybody, and I mean, everybody, has watched. A die-hard romantic movie fan must have watched Titanic more times than can even be kept track of. You gotta admit, that one was almost a cult movie, when talking romantic movies. But it has been a while since these movies have been around. With every passing year, we saw several new movies belonging to this genre, and there's no denying that despite being just halfway through 2011, there are a whole lot of these movies already, and by the end of the year, there will be a whole lot more. So why not take a look at some of the best romantic movies that 2011 has offered us so far, and maybe a glimpse of what's yet to come as well. 2011 Romantic Movies Here is a list of some of the top romantic movies of 2011. Take a look. No strings attached this Natalie Portman and Ashton Kutcher starer was a romantic comedy, and had all the elements in the right proportion. With the actors mentioned playing the lead role as Emma and Adam, respectively, their story is only one rule, that of being friends with benefits. What begins with an agreement of only casual sex, and no emotional attachment with each other, the relationship between Adam and Emma starts changing when Adam realizes that he can no longer do this, because he is breaking the rule and falling for the girl. Things get crazy because of his feelings, until one day when Emma also realizes that the man she was trying to keep it casual with, is the one she is now falling in love with. A fun movie in its own right. This is one of the many romantic comedies that you can pick from in 2011. Just go with it Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. What else can I say? You know that if a movie has these actors starring in it, it has to be a romantic comedy, cause it sure ain't a tearjerker. Danny Sandler is a plastic surgeon who has been romancing a school teacher who is much younger than him. What starts out as a careless Danny and a careless lie? now leads to him turning to Catherine Aniston, so that she can save him, and help repair the damage between him and the schoolteacher, Palmer Brooklyn Decker. As the movie progresses, it leads to Danny returning the favor to Catherine, and helping her with an arch-rival from her sorority days, Nicole Kidman. As the madness continues, and after going through a few romantic instances with each other, it ends with them realizing that they are actually the ones made for each other. Ah. Uh, perfectly sappy, wouldn't you say? Something borrowed girl falls for guy who was engaged to marry her best friend. A moment slaps, and they realize that it is they who really are meant for each other. Sounds like any other romantic movie, right? This movie is based on a novel written by Emily Griffin, and offers more than just the usual chaos that you'd expect from a situation like the ones that Rachel, Jennifer Goodwin, and Darcy, Kate Hudson, go through. Everyone knows that the rules of friendship say never hook up with your closest friend's boyfriend, let alone fiancé. But what do you do when that fiancé is the same guy that you've had a crush on since forever? Make a movie date out of it with your girlfriends to find out more about something borrowed. Jane Eyre Everyone's heard of Jane Eyre, the classic novel by Charlotte Bronte. So, for all of you who loved the novel, this time you can catch up with the movie too. Having grown up a fairly desolate life when a child, Jane Eyre Mia Vashikovska moves on to exploring the world and reaches the Thornfield Hall, and takes up the position of a governess. It is here that she meets her employer, and master of the house. Mr. Rochester, Michael Fassbender. Over time, Miss Eyre and Mr. Rochester grow close, but there's a secret, one that could jeopardize their happiness. All those who've watched the movie would know, and those who haven't. Watch it. That was just a handful of what's been released already, but there is an entire bunch of other movies that do in fact, make it to this list. 
some of which we will have to wait for, and might get to see only by the end of this year. Check out what those movies are, from Prada to Nada, January, Waiting for Forever, February, Beastly, March, Red Riding Hood, March, The Adjustment Bureau, March, Prom, April, Water for Elephants, April, Bridesmaids, May, Midnight in Paris, May, 35 and Ticking, May, Last Night, May, The Names of Love, June, The Art of Getting By, June, Friends with Benefits, July, Crazy, Stupid, Love, July, One Day, July, What's Your Number, September, The Three Musketeers, October, Footloose, October, The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 1, November, Hamlet, Bah, United Love Story, Bah, The Vow, Bah, The Rebound, Bah, This Means War, Bah, The Given List was a mixed one made of some movies that we've probably already watched and loved, or not, and others that we yet are waiting for. Also, the list is a mix of some hardcore romantic drama, while a whole lot of it is very simply romantic comedies or maybe even a romantic fantasy or two. Either way, they are some of the best romantic movies in 2011, so take your pick, grab some popcorn, sit back and enjoy the movies.